Here is Alumi Fuels head chemist Boris Deitkin. He is adding their proprietary mixture with water to demonstrate that Alumi Fuel is able to control the rate of the reaction by simple addition and or subtraction of their secret additives. This mixture, as you will see later, is safe to handle and to transport. Unlike those dangerous case cylinders, this proprietary mixture does not explode under pressure, nor does it require special instructions and or insurances to keep in the lab. Alumi Fuel is able to control the rate of the reaction with simple tweaks in their formula. This allows them to design this technology around different types of applications. As you will see, the exhibit on the left will have a more stable and gradual increase in temperature and will release hydrogen more gradually, while the exhibit on the right will increase in temperature faster, meanwhile releasing more hydrogen in a shorter amount of time. The only difference in the two exhibits is the amount of proprietary mixture involved in the demonstration. The entire science of alumine fuel mixture is the keen ability to remove the outer layer that forms on aluminum as it oxidizes. The crust that is broken off is the aluminum oxidized passivation layer. By removing this layer, it allows alumine fuel's additives to react with the aluminum causing the output of hydrogen gas. By being able to control the output rate and force, te this technology can be applied to many different applications such as fuel cells, underwater unmanned vehicles, flameless heaters and much more. Alumi Fuel already sells the PBIS 1000 hydrogen generator which uses cartridges filled with their mixture in aluminum. When water is pumped into the generator it mixes with the cartridge and hydrogen is produced and is released at the other end of the generator. Here you can see on the computer screen that the exhibit on the right, which is exhibit 2, is obviously increasing in temperature a lot faster than exhibit 1. And again, like we said, this is done by simple added or subtracting add additives to the formula. And there's exhibit 2 and exhibit 1, and you can clearly see that exhibit 2 is having a faster reaction to the mixture than Exhibit 1. Exhibit 1 is actually still having a reaction to the formula, except that, like we said before, it is actually a gradual and long-term stable increase in temperature and hydrogen output. We do want you to know that both of these exhibits do have the same amount of aluminum. The only thing different in them is the additives that were added. So you can see how easily that alumi fuel is actually able to change their formula to adapt to different types of applications. Here's another close-up again of our computer screen that is analyzing the data right from the demonstration. Here you will see that Exhibit 1 is actually a little bit hotter than it was before, and you can see that that graph line is on a steady uptrend. While Exhibit 2 has already reached its peak, it has actually started to slowly start to level out and stable out, and as because the reaction is almost done. Here's Boris again with a new demonstration for everybody. This demonstration will actually be able to measure the hydrogen output due to the flow meter that is actually attached to this demonstration. The flow meter is that little black box on the right hand screen, bottom screen. And his demonstration, the water is currently being pumped into the mixture. And you will see that almost instantly the reaction will occur. Now this demonstration is important for all the outsiders because this one actually does show the hydrogen output. The other two demonstrations could not show the hydrogen output just because they were not capped off and sealed at the top so there was no way to accurately measure the hydrogen output. But for this demonstration we did seal off the tops and we do have our flow meter recording the hydrogen that is being outputted.
again we are actually able to analyze the data right on our computer screen that is attached to our flow meters here you can see that the exhibit is actually producing hydrogen on a, bare, on a very stable rate and you will also see on the bottom part of the screen is the temperature analyst and you could also see that is increasing in temperature as well we did want to make sure that we did have a flow meter reading for everybody so this was not all camera tricks for you guys uh, here you can see that the obvious hydrogen rate is increasing and is actually increasing rapidly Also, alumine fuel actually has the power and the ability to actually stop the reaction with another simple additive. Uh, here you will see that Boris is going to be injecting the, the stopping agent into the mixture, and it should reflect it instantly on the chart, and here it is. You can see that the chart actually completely decreased the second that the additive was added, so you can see that the additive definitely had a direct impact on the formula. Here is alumni fuel demonstrating their flameless heater packs. Uh, packs like this can be used in the military for camping or everyday use. With the simple addition of water into the pack, the pack will instantly start creating some heat. Now packs like this generally cook their food at around 90 degrees Celsius. The difference between alumine fuels, flameless heaters like this, and the military's currently use is actually the military uses packs that contain magnesium. Now magnesium, when used, actually creates a metal-like smell that is omitted when water is added. And that's the number one complaint by most soldiers and most people that do use the old style packs. The new style pack will actually have alumine fuel proprietary mixture involved in it and there is no smell at all. Here you have an example of a commercial heat heater and actually a military grade food heater. Here you can see that the flamish packs are heating up. The steam is being omitted from the outside of the pack. Again, like I said, that these packs do generally heat up to about 90 degrees Celsius and will cook a full meal in about 10 to 15 minutes.